Hey everyone, it's Frank Rotz again. Uh, happy 4th of July. Got a day off by surprise and I wanted to uh, continue where I left off in terms of talking about one of my favorite subjects, rigging for bass, no surprise. But what I had lined up was from the Bill Murphy In Pursuit of Giant Bass book and he talks about on page 135, it's called a skin hook technique. Um, it's actually something I've never seen in all the years, 18 years of selling fishing tackle. I've never even heard of it until I read this book. This is an absolute fantastic book. We'll be talking more about some of the stuff in here and this author in particular, what that can do for structure. But for right now, we're going to talk about the skin hook technique. And I haven't finished it yet, but I'm going to rig it and talk about some of the possibilities. Um, normally, I would never start a video before actually fishing something, but this seems really exciting, and I want to get it out to people so maybe they can hit it. And obviously, with plastics, so many people fish so many different plastics. So what I'm going to do is we'll rig this up, and we'll talk about it. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff, you know, digging deeper into rigging and finesse fishing, really fine-tuning stuff, um, Please subscribe to the channel. And also, on page 23 of Midwest Outdoors, I've got a swim jig article. It's pretty interesting. Uh, part of the story dates back to probably around 1995 or 1996. So I was really good. That was really nice to see that published. This is July 2017 of the Midwest Outdoors. I didn't make the cover this time, but I can't do it every time. So in any event, swim jigs, that'll probably be something I'll be talking about later on as well. So uh, happy 4th and please subscribe and uh, stay tuned. We'll show you how to rig this bad boy up. Okay, so this is the exciting part. This is the Bill Murphy skin hook rig. So our components for it, it's really a pretty simple deal. Um, we've just got these, these Eagle Claw bait holders, 181, two aught, uh, worm and chunk bait, quantity 100, two aught. You can get a bunch of these for I think around 10 bucks or something like this. I've commented in the past that I don't think Eagle Claws are the world's greatest hooks anymore. But uh, this is the exact same style, this 181 Duat that is in the book. So it must be good if they're still making them. Um, I may sharpen them, but they look pretty sharp. I mean, I'm able to take this and how I gauge a hook sharpness is I'm able to pretty much get a white line on that fingernail. You can barely see that, that white line. I'll do it again. Yeah, you can barely see it. I mean, it's getting there. If it was a Yamagatsu, it would really dig in. So we've got the 2 watt, and we've got a 6-inch Berkeley Power Worm. I showcase these worms a lot um, for 6-inch. Um, I, I really am awfully impressed with what you can do with this style bait. And in the future, a little teaser, I'll show you guys how you can swim these so they rotate like this with the same worm. But for now... We're gonna do the skin hook. So in essence, we're pre-tying our hook and our line, and I just tied on some eight pound fluoro, fluorescent uh, monofilament eight pound trilene, so you can maybe pick up on it. It's kind of hard to against the whiteboard though. So what we've got is we've got our six inch power worm, and what we're gonna do, it's just like Texas rigging it. I'm going to assume that this Berkeley logo part is the top and what doesn't have it is the bottom so i'm not an expert texas rigger so i'll go over it as fast as i would normally do it i just don't do a lot of them you go through a phase where you just don't use something you don't tie a knot you don't rig something and you lose it so uh if that's the top the berkeley part then that's the bottom then the bottom part is what we're going to hook the nose through of that bait holder. And if there's one thing here, he f these barbs were flattened with pliers prior to doing this. Okay, So I flatten these down. Okay. So this is facing oh, this is facing like this and what we're going to do is we are going to rotate this 
like so. And, and in essence, this is if you Texas rig a lot, this probably looks very familiar, this portion of it right here. We're going to just rotate this and every bait's a little different, but now the Berkeley logo is facing up. So the top is facing up where we want it to. And if you notice, this is sitting farther back because it's smaller than how you would normally do a traditional Texas rig. Now, this is the easy part if you know how to Texas rig. This looks very familiar. All you're going to do is take this tip and you're going to essentially, this is probably about the third time I've done this, so it may not be the most pro job, but it'll work. So you're kind of going to bury this one way or the other inside the body cavity. And the thing about Berkeley's is they're kind of soft. They start to tear. So it's already starting to tear a little bit because I did it one time before with the same worm. But that's why you can break the nose off, which I did. That doesn't hurt the, the bait at all. Um, and actually may make it easier to rig. So what you're going to do is right. This looks like a familiar Texas rig, like you would just poke it right through here. But you've got your Berkeley, that's your top. So what you're actually going to do, here's the, this is the skin part, right? You're taking the very essence, the very skin of that plastic, and you are going to just, it's a Texapose variation. I'm going to go over Texaposing in, in the next clip, along with Texas rigging, just to explain that. But there is your skin hook. So if this is this hook faces to the left so this is my left what i'm looking at right here so you can see that it is already kind of snaking around to give it what i'm not crazy about with straight texas rigs is the more stick like type of an action that can be a great action but what i like about wacky worming so i'll compare the two right here so you've got your skin hook here fish hooks it that pierces it otherwise you bury it in the cavity um and it's a smaller hook. I tend to like smaller hooks. This part where you tie the line to the open end is secured in here. So it's supposed to be an extremely weedless package. And like I said, I haven't fished it, but I'm already liking that this is off. You can see how off center this is to give the worm a nice action. And after decades of, you know, this, this Bill Murphy, this skin hook rig is a decades old composite. So you can actually compare it. There's your skin hook and of course, you know, this would kind of be your, your wacky, like this, which kind of sits at an angle and is a much smaller hook. And then I'll just do a quick Texas uh, with a keeper hook right here. So, well, actually, no, I won't. I'll do it how I normally would, would do a worm, just to show it real quick. Let me hook one up here kind of an impromptu video session if you would but I'm making do so and these are pretty easy these yum dingers they have this groove so you can kind of see oops, sorry about the camera shake so you can kind of see right here this is exciting love this part about fine-tuning worms so you can kind of see that this skin hook sits at an angle and it's, it's kind of a composite between the two um, hook size wise you're going with a two odd bait older instead of that's a five inch worm instead of like a regular two odd and it's looking like that can give it some fantastic action so i'm super excited about that so to recap that that's this is the bill murphy skin hook rig um i just love tweaking and modifying worms i hope someone takes this out and really catches a big bass and it's it sits off center so it's supposed to have a nice fluttering action and that tip part right there you hook a fish is just supposed to poke right through and it's like a texapose variation so in any event let's just keep it right there for now so you can never perfect these videos that's why there's editing software which i don't really have so we're just gonna oh, leave it like that so there's our bill murphy skin hook um I'm going to be taking that out with a six inch worm next time I do that. And it, it really is meant for the stitching technique, which I have used in the past. So this is really meant to drag along the bottom and not get snagged. Make bottom contact, bottom contact baits for big bass. That's what you catch bass on, big bottom contact baits. So uh, this is looking good. Uh, please subscribe to my channel so I can do more rigging and have more time to get out on the water and have more experimentation with stuff like this. Take care, everyone. Thank you.